Now you might be wondering what is the point of having that inserted note length in the drum map because most drum machines um, and most drum softwares default or can't be changed from a setting where every drum pad simply just has to receive a MIDI on note command and it will play the drum sample to the end of its decay all the way through. But samplers can be configured so that um, individual samples or mapped samples across keys can respond only as long as you hold the key down and as soon as you release the key the sample stops. Now you might want to incorporate samples into your drum patterns that play for as long as the, as the MIDI note lasts in terms of length. Oh no, not the phone. Hang on. Hello? Hello? Hi, listen, I'm right in the middle of recording. I'll call you back. Okay? Sorry about that. Okay, um, yeah, you, you might have your sampler playing sounds and you want the notes to last as long as the note lasts and control the length that samples play in your pattern by the length of the note. In which case, if we go back into the drum map, you can take this off drum map link um, and you can assign um, for example, if, you're, if all your drum pad, if all your drum machines and drum softwares require only a tiny little note, just a note on command to, to trigger the drums, you can set your inserted note length to 128 and override the drum map link. And what will happen in that case if I rub out these hi hats and draw them in? Oops, set this to eighths. Draw them in again. Now, before when this was set to drum map link. I drew in a row of eighth notes and they came out also an eighth in length because the inserted note length was locked to the drum map link and the drum map link was on eighths. But now I've set it so that everything I put in is only going to put in a little 128th length note um, regardless of its quantize in terms of distance between notes and, and its placement on the grid. So I've drawn in a row of eighth notes but they all have 128th in length and if I close that down, turn drum map off and have a look there's my little F sharp hi-hat notes put in at just 128th in length, tiny little notes, yeah, but they'll still, if I put this back into drum map, they'll still play the hi-hat just the same, yeah, because the drum soft RMF only requires a MIDI in note to trigger the sample and that sample will play to the end of its natural length. But just bear that in mind because it may be that you want to, inside your drum map, you want to assign either the whole drum map to a sampler or individual rows to a sampler to play loop sounds or pad sounds or or a vocal sample or something and you might want it in one pattern to last, last a certain I don't believe this I just don't believe it okay welcome back um, the phone just went off and it went off several times actually really annoyingly but it kind of ruined the flow of that one, so I'm kind of picking it up where I left off. But I thought, why not go a bit further with this tutorial? So I've wired a few things up um, to show you some other stuff. Now, as far as we'd got, I, I, I was at the point where I'm talking about inserted note length here and how you can override the drum map link for the inserted note length so that notes that you put in can have a defined length that isn't in any way associated with the length here uh, the quantize here on the grid and we showed that by putting in a closed hi-hat at eighth every eighth note but by having the drum the inserted note length set to 120 eighths I drew in a row of eighth hi-hat notes and when we looked at them here we can see that they're little tiny 128th length notes and we also saw that despite of that they still trigger the hi hat. Now, just a sec. Okay, so we should have a smoke. So, now you might, uh, I can't remember whether I touched on this earlier, but the point is this if we go back into the drum map, look, if most drum machines and drum softwares are designed so that all they require is to hear a little tiny note and they'll trigger the drum sample all the way till the end of the sample then what possible use is there being able to define an inserted note length and make it longer than a little short note? 
because a little short note will trigger all the drum sounds that we want in in every hardware drum machine on the market and every drum software they all default so they just receive a little tiny note and they'll trigger the drum sound and they'll play that drum sample all the way through well where it'll come in useful is is as i said uh, when you start playing around with any kind of sampler that can uh, that allows you to 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 define a setup where the sampler will play the sample for as long as the note lasts. Okay, it doesn't just listen to a little tiny note going note on and play the sample all the way through. It hears the note on command, starts playing the sample, and it plays it for as long as the note lasts. And when it gets the note off command. At the end of the length of the note, it stops playing the sample, even if the sample hasn't played all the way through. So to demonstrate this, I've already set up a little free sample player, which uh, there's a link to download it on the page accompanying this tutorial. So you should have this downloaded and installed in your VST plugins folder. The DLL file goes in your VST plugins folder, and the other little file that came with it I think if there was a file or not. Well, just check the setup anyway and make sure it's all installed. And when you go to your VST instruments, there it is, Wave 13. Okay. Now, due to the fact that um, with this screen grab software on, loading the wave into Wave 13 that I'm going to use, the little sample I'm going to use, uh, caused the system to kind of glitch and hang for about a minute. I've already preloaded the sample. So let's look at this little Wave 13 player. There it is. It's a tiny little sample player. And I've loaded this sample called What the Time. And basically it's a it's a sample taken from a Dr. Alimentado record of him saying, What the time you have there, dread. Okay. I've put that also on the download page so you can use it if you like to mess around. Okay, so basically you load the sample wave, whatever it is, into this little wave player. The channel, I've set it to 10 by pressing this button. When you open it, it's it defaults to 1. But um, because uh, back here on our drum map, everything uh, so far is set to channel 10. I'm just going to click this button and bump it up to channel 10. Okay. Everything else, click the panel button over here, leave all that the same. Okay. But this thing note should say 1. That's how many notes poly it's going to play. It has to be on 1. It defaults to 0, I think. So make sure that's on 1 and everything else leave it as it is and make sure you've put it on channel 10 by clicking this button and your wave is loaded. Okay, let's close down the rack. Go back to our um, Cubase drum map. Now previously we were messing around with this loop inside the RMF, this loop. Uh, no, not that loop, it was on... Oh, what note number was it on actually? Let's have a look. It was on D sharp 1. Yeah, so if I set this to back to D sharp one, this note, uh, the speaker icon's on up here, so when I click, you'll hear it. This sample. Okay, that was to demonstrate, you know, that you can get samplers to play along. Uh, that your drum patterns don't have to be just created from individual drum hits. But let's take that that little bit further and show how this. Um, Inserted note length works with samplers that play for as long as the note lasts. So I am going to use the same row called loop. Shut up sample. And I am going to change the output row to the wave 13 player. Okay, if I put in a note now, um, it'll be it'll play out on D sharp one, but it'll only be a sixteenth in length because of this. Ins inserted note length is set to drum map link. So I'll change that to a half bar, put in the note, and you'll hear it. Well, it's very pitched low. So let's increase the pitch up to something like C3. Now let's hear it now. What the time you still too still too low. E C D, let's try E3. What the time you have the No, E F. Let's try F. What the time you have the That's still not his voice. He it must be on about G. What the time you have the Yep, that is Dr. Alimentado. That's what he sounds like. 